What I have just described as the process of attaining samadhi by meditating upon the presence of the universal force, which is abundantly flowing outside our body and inside our nervous system, and then by utilizing the willpower of the mind and the support of our own inner awareness, our own energy, we are able to successfully you know, unite and blend these two forces, you know, yeah. leading to the absorption or the samadhi, high energetic absorption. However, there's another path, yeah? and this path is something which starts from bottom to top, yeah? from the body yeah, to the higher functions of the nervous system, the brain. All right. This is how I would normally do my samadhi. Yeah. If, for example, I feel that I need to drain the energy already, because samadhi, one of its functions is to drain the um, energetic system of too much energy we're holding inside the body. And after samadhi, I would normally feel uh, rebalanced, refresh. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's one way for me to restore yeah, my system. Now, uh, the second path is normally uh, tackled from uh, the body itself and then by utilizing the energetic locks yeah, and the openness and the sensitivity of our astral sex system as well as the nadis, we would be able to control uh, the rising of the kundalini energy yeah, and allow it to enter the nervous system. All right. um, let me just mention one or two concepts yeah, if you wanted to tackle this path. Although the process itself yeah, of meditating upon the Kundalini energy is easier yeah, to do, yeah, preparing for it, meaning before the experience, is actually much more challenging. Because the preparatory elements needed for this to happen would take many years. Yeah, because we wanted to cultivate it, we wanted to develop it from the body. And the body is inherently blocked. Thus, uh, we need to do our work you know, of opening our bodies first. And this will involve uh, developing our bandhas to their fullest potential as well as deep internal cleansing of our nadis. And that might take many years. However, once you're able to master your energetic side of your body, and then when you go to stillness, it's easier to attain samadhi, the process itself. All right. Why? Because I mentioned earlier that the Kundalini has this inherent way of rising. All right? And with the Banda supporting you and with the Nadis open, yeah, all you need to do is to actually lie down still or sit still if you're doing your meditation sitting and allow the electricity to just manifest. And you're able to control yeah, the levels of intensity because as you refined awareness yeah, and the bandas there and the many internal cleansing that you will be practicing mastering the future you will learn the skill as well of um, regulating uh, the voltage or the levels of kundalini energy you allow to rise because as the kundalini rises yeah, her intensity um, becomes less powerful so she becomes supple as she makes her way up through the chakras of the spine all right. And it's easy once you're able to master that one because you just have to sit or lie down still all right, and control the breath because mastering the flow of the breath or what we call Kevala Kumbhaka in the meditation is an organic byproduct of our energetic system, our bandhas, the astral system, the chakras, as well as the inner pathways of the energy, uh, the nadis being open sensitive already All right. because um, when those deep energetic and inner pathways are open the breath or the energy will just flow because you're just lying down or you're sitting you don't need too much of i would say um, energy you know, for you to function you don't need too much of the oxygen for you to function uh, because you just need to nourish the lungs and the heart. Yeah. So Kevala Kumbhaka will just happen organically. You now, once the nadis and the bandhas and the chakras become open, because they will do it for you. All right. The difference now between the first uh, process I've described is that when you access it from the body, 
Yeah, you don't have to fix too much attention the spiritual eye. Rather, you will now be focusing on the sensation of the Kundalini rising. All right. One common element between accessing it from the nervous system to the body and from the body to the nervous system is that the anahata nada yeah, or the unmade sound that you will hear will always be there. So your inner ear will remain fixed yeah, listening to the anahata nada yeah, while the rest of your awareness is focused on yeah, the sensation of the electricity yeah, rising through the surface of the body. All right. The Kundalini energy, when she becomes so subtle, she manifests really as electrical pulsations rising through the surface of the body, the skin. All right. And starts from the feet yeah, up to the torso, all the way up to the nervous system. Like, um, there's this not sudden intense electrical wave covering the body. Yeah. When you access it from the spiritual eye, it just goes too sudden and too intense. Whereas if you access it from the body, yeah, it goes lightly up. Yeah. So it's like from the feet, you can feel your body yeah, be gently covered with this light force rising up. All right. What is now the beauty of this? Okay. Although the, the preparatory elements are difficult, to learn, yeah. when you are doing the process itself, the meditation itself, yeah, you are in control of every step of the meditation practice. And at the same time, yeah, you will remember everything that happens during the meditation. Every step, every manifestation. And sustaining it is longer because the intensity is milder and your awareness is fully present meaning the mind the body because you will feel it right like you are fully awake while you witness the absorption all right so the way i describe this is this yeah when my mind is so fixed with that Another nada, the unmade sound. Yeah, I will just keep the body so still and steady, and make the breath light. All right. Then once the breath goes so light, yeah, you will feel yeah the inner brain becomes warm or even hot, yeah. and then the body will um achieve that state of um, yoga nidra or this temporary paralysis and then when the body achieves that temporary paralysis or your yoga nidra actually you will also achieve yoga nidra when you access it from the head all right so yoga nidra is i would say present yeah in both uh, um, processes yeah, of attaining samadhi but when you access this from the rising kundalini, once you achieve that yoga nidra, yeah, focusing on the feet already. Yeah. So feel your body from the feet. Yeah. You will feel the energy will rise from your toes yeah, to your legs, to your hips and to the torso all the way up to the nervous system and the sensation is actually more on the surface of the body yes like your skin will be covered with light electrical current rising up yeah and when the sensation finally enters the upper regions of the spine you yeah, higher up the chest yeah the um, bindu or the soma or the prana yeah, will just flow downwards and then they will blend all right from this point on the sensation uh, or the the experience yeah, will be the same yeah, as i've described uh, a while back yeah however sustaining it using the body is longer 
Alright. So normally when I achieve samadhi from the Kundalini rising, I could hold that for many minutes. Yeah, many minutes. And then you will remember everything that happens during the meditation. Alright. And then you will understand it more. Alright. So you will feel with the um, abundant flow of the energy actually um, could be felt. Yeah, we have the hands. The hands are really very, um, I would say, potent in processing the energy and the thumbs and the rest of the fingers and also the feet, especially the big toe. You will feel the Kundalini, yeah, the electricity yeah, rising from the big toe yeah, to the legs. Yeah. It goes really like spiraling um, sensations inside the body. Yeah, to the spine, you will feel it uh, um, pierce through the right and the left hemispheres of the brain, through the central channel, the fingers and the hands. Yeah, so the Kundalini, when you are doing your samadhi, you know, through the process of uh, feeling it from the body, you will feel the Kundalini energy rise up, and it will exit the crown of the head, and it goes back to the hips, up to the crown of the head. So it. It goes through a cycle, you know, from the toes to the legs to the hips to the center of the spine, the backs of the throat, out to the crown of the head. You will actually feel you know, uh, the energy will try to you know, exit out of uh, this point. You know? And then back to the hips. It goes on and on and on and on. While your awareness or your consciousness experience the other many things. Yeah, similar to you know, the experiences that you will you know, encounter when you access it from the spiritual eye. Although when you access it from the body, it is more sustainable, uh, you can experience it longer because you are in control of everything and you remember the process more clearly. And you will understand it really from the perspective of the body. So when you get out of the experience, it doesn't become too mysterious. It doesn't become too esoteric. It's not too extraordinary. Something that has, uh, I would say, bodily significance, energetic significance. Hence, when we need to come back already, once the pressure becomes too intense and we have to resurface, all we need to do is just to utilize our body again. You know, we're just reversing the process because going out of the experience is the same way yeah, that you will do getting in the experience. So I would normally just breathe big and normally it will bring me back to the room. Yeah? But sometimes it gets too intense, the experience, that I would normally try to move the physical body. Yeah, I would you know, be using the mind, I will you know, close and open the fist and then I would breathe and then yes, you know, I come back. So yes, going through the Samadhi experience itself could be approached using the mind or by using your own body. All right. The mind, when it becomes too fixed, to the presence of this universal force by fixing your attention inside the spiritual eye, yeah, the grace of God shall enter our body. On the other hand, yeah, you may also use your own energy, the manifestation of the divine force of the Kundalini, for you to lift her up because inside the nervous system, God is already waiting. Prana is already waiting. He just waits for the Kundalini to finally unite inside. All right. But the Samadhi experience itself is the same. It's only the method of going into Samadhi and out of the Samadhi, which vary a bit. But while we are in it, yeah, it's just similar. And after it, and the realizations are also the same. Till the next time. Namaste.